All right, ladies and gentlemen, since the time of the pandemic to 2020, there's been a lot of talk on this topic and the topic is none other than mental health, which essentially means we discuss a bit about depression. Now, of course, uh, depression can come anytime, not necessarily when uh, there's a pandemic, but in general, uh, Things like, you know, mental health, anxiety, disorder, ADHD, and uh, narcissism and all these things were quite relevant during uh, the pandemic times. But now using astrology, uh, is there any way through which we can find out if this person will be in depression? Now, when I say using astrology, it means there are two things. One is, which is like the worst case scenario. Okay, or let's discuss the average scenario first. So, the first scenario is that the person is inherently not depressing, uh, but the person can run into depression during the Mahadasha or Antardasha of a particular planet or in the Pratyantar, either way. So, basically, that depression which is temporary and is uh, bound by some time period so this is case one and the case two is irrespective of whichever dasha comes or goes doesn't matter the person is always in depression okay and within these two categories there can be like you know various levels so like for the second case which is the worst case scenario uh, you will feel uh, that this person is always depressed if the person is uh, not able to function normally. Okay, uh, Or it can be the other way around. The person is very depressed always, but the person is functioning very normally. Okay, So you, you, you can't actually make out if uh, this person is in depression unless you talk with them or you uh, have a close connection with this person or else you observe the person's uh, personal or private life. Only then you can understand that maybe uh, this person is in depression. And if you observe it for, you know, like 5, 10, 20 years, then maybe you can conclude that this person is always in depression. And then there is this the extreme form of depression, you know, where uh, we actually, the person commits suicide, of course. Okay. So there are very layers to this, this and this, this is very complicated. So if the majority of the planets are indicating depression, we will discuss that in a bit. What does it mean when I say, you know, indicating depression? That's what this video is about. Then it means the person's condition is the second case which means the person is always depressed okay it doesn't matter which dasha comes or goes this person will always be unhappy miserable cranky you know, so, and unhappy basically right uh, so then we can conclude this person may never come out of depression okay although in rare cases that might happen you know, that might be possible but in general it doesn't happen so out of nine planets if i have seen in my experience if the horoscope indicates that there are six or seven or eight planets you know but six or seven also does the job if they indicate this person if or six seven planets at least they indicate that uh, they are putting him into depression then this person will always be depressed now there could be a situation where there are six planets which are showing depression, but there are three planets which are not only not showing depression, they are showing a very good uh, bent of mind. And somehow it can happen that this person might get the Mahadasha of these planets. So, for example, somebody has uh, depression in six planets, but he does not have depression in... Um, Rahu, Jupiter and Saturn or you can say Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury. Now then suppose when he's you know like 10 years, 11 years down the line his Jupiter Mahadasha starts so 16 years it shows no depression then 19 years Saturn Mahadasha then 17 years okay or Rahu then Jupiter then Saturn. So these cases also can come where uh, six planets indicate depression but the Dashas do not indicate depression. Or there can also be cases where you will find uh, 
there are six planets which are indicating the person is uh, having a good bent of mind but then there are three planets like you know for example jupiter saturn and mercury they are indicating depression so now this is like a situation uh, which is like the first case scenario where the person is inherently not depressing uh, but can be depressed temporarily okay but before we get into all this, we need to understand what does it mean when uh, somebody is depressed. You know, we will see the psychological part and the astrological part also. So uh, we can see different definitions of depression. I I won't go into that, but basically, inherently from uh, a human's perspective, depression is like a situation where the person is unhappy for a very prolonged period of time. And the person uh, kind of feels helpless and the person feels uh, everything is beyond their control. You know, it's like they can't control anything. It's like uh, outside situations are uh, beyond your control. And e even if you know they are under your control, but your inner mind and uh, intelligence, your thought process is not your willpower. You cannot use it to bring things under control. Okay. So, or at the end of the day, you are convinced that, yes, I can't do it. I can't make it. So, it is beyond my control. So, either externally or internally. Or this can come because of behavior of people also. Okay, And if this happens for a prolonged period of time uh, and the person's normal day-to-day -day activities are getting hampered, then we know that the person may be into depression. And one of the very quick ways to find out if somebody might be depressed so use this with caution but i have talked to many people and i have seen this uh, most of the times is that they do not like to take bath okay maybe in the morning not day afternoon evening they, they do not want to take bath because uh, somehow when you are depressed you do not feel that it's worth maintaining the body okay somehow it comes subconsciously that it's not worth working the person may not be able to walk the person may not be able to talk the person may not be able to have a basic conversation or any kind of official communication there can be there could be morbid fear uh, there could be anxiety there could be panic attacks you know all these things could come although they may not be depression directly but Depression can worsen anxiety and other things and other, you know, psychological diseases or disorders, either ways, as you call it. And uh, because of this, you will see that this per these people, they, they may either not interact with anybody or they may uh, interact very less sometimes. Not that they're uh, uh, introverts, but somehow they don't like to interact with people and they feel that you know if i interact then my life will become more horrible or you know they may be super duper ultra extrovert extrovert and they may uh, communicate so much that you know they their uh, inner i mean to, to compensate some things uh, like a void inside them they may communicate much more than necessary they may overshare sometimes, you know, like, oh, I did this, I did that, ye kya, wo kya, this, that. It's like uh, emotional diarrhea, okay? So either they may be very quiet or they may be like ultra super duper talkative. Both can be signs of depression. And um, also you will see if somebody is in depression, then most likely they will always be complaining and criticizing and cribbing about things which are not under their control or which they think are not under their control okay uh, it's very easy to identify 24 hours anytime you see them you meet them they may be criticizing now of course uh, this we have to be very careful because there are people who may generally keep who may keep criticizing anything and everything but that may not mean that they are in depression and also if a person is in depression, the person may not be criticizing always. But if you see a person is always criticizing, then it's like uh, it is an indication that maybe the person is in severe depression. The person does not like the parents, you know, husband, wife, friends, family, relatives, in-laws, government, 
the person has problem with the um, any human being so anybody and the person is likely to exaggerate things and uh, either they will like blow it up or they will downplay things okay so and these are some of the behaviors which you will frequently see and they may uh, be crying very frequently okay uh, this is also one thing which you can see and they may lack confidence now this is like uh, the chicken and hen philosophy the egg and the hen philosophy you know so do they lack confidence and because of that they are depressed or it's the other way around it's very difficult to say but uh, if if somebody has like very 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 low confidence then it can be an indication that this person might have been bullied uh, in their childhood or the person is in depression you know because it's like an energy which sucks uh, everything and uh, we know that uh, lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita you know, that this material world is dukhala mashashvatam which means this material world is a perpetual place of misery the only thing that is constant and beautiful is unhappiness <laughs> so whenever we feel like getting depressed actually we should become happy because we are realizing the knowledge of the gita more and more i mean to be sarcastic and whenever we feel depressed we should understand that maybe things are not in my control but i must give 100% and uh, i should do things in a way that uh makes me more detached about uh, my from my results because otherwise if we try to control each and everything from our lives then we we cannot we cannot be peaceful because there will always be something in our life which will be against our wish our will our desire you know maybe you have a great physique maybe you have a great career but maybe your married life is terrible or maybe you have a great physique and a great marriage but your career is terrible okay so something or the other will always be there you will never see anybody in this world who has all the check boxes ticked okay <laughs> so using astrology also we can identify so for example uh, if somebody has a difficult moon okay then the person's probability is higher that this person may go into depression difficult moon means a moon which is in the eighth house or with the eighth lord or aspected by the eighth lord or in debility or afflicted by malefics <clears throat> or uh, aspected or conjunct the lord of the eight, 12th house okay then also it can happen and if moon is conjunct saturn especially or aspected by saturn it's vishyo and this is like one of the most frequent indications that <clears throat> there could be a possibility for depression then if you see that the lagna lord is not strong then it means the person can lack will power sometimes okay that can make the person depressed you know perpetually um, falling prey to you know procrastination and just being depressed for no reason okay so in the lagna lord is in debility or in dikshunya or in the dusthana house then also this can happen then if sun is not well placed then the person may lack vision and that might uh, make the person very much complaining or cribbing about things always okay <clears throat> and then we have jupiter so jupiter is the planet of hope optimism positivity if jupiter is afflicted then also this can happen afflicted by saturn or if jupiter is in the 8th or 12th then also this can happen so essentially uh, if the planets are somehow connected with the dusthana houses or the natural malefics then the tendency is higher now now you will say oh but you know there will always be planets which will lord the dusthana houses you know that means everybody is in depression well yes the fact of the matter is yes each and every human being in this world is depressed is having depression but to a certain extent okay but when we talk of depression it means that the person's level of depression has reached to such an extent that the person is not able to function normally the normal things the person is not able to do okay so that is what we mean when we say that this person is depressed okay <clears throat> and at the end of the day 
you always have to check uh, the Navamsha chart. If the Navamsha chart is indicating that the person lacks vision and the person is not having strength to do things himself, then uh, it means that any difficulty that comes externally from the Lagna chart or the Dustana houses, then this person is likely to crumble and crush, uh, get crushed because of difficulties. You know, that can put the person in depression. Okay, <clears throat> And also you have to check uh, what is going on in the chart overall. So sometimes overall the horoscope is good, but it is indicating, you know, some contradictory energies, you know, like a planet uh, is indicating, you know, that uh, it's like the seventh lord in the sixth. So this is a very contradictory placement because a <laughs> the lord of the seventh house is supposed to protect the marriage. Now this seventh lord has gone to the sixth, which is 12th from itself, which shows separation. So if there are such contradictory energies, you know, like uh, Lord of the 7th in the 10th, which is 12th to the 11th, then also this person may be like confused. Okay, should I focus on my marriage or my career now? You know, should I get married now or should I go abroad and get this degree or whatever, you know, like some fancy job or should I start my business? Then if the person does one thing, the person will be regretting. Why did I not do that? And if he does the other, he will be regretting. Oh, I should have done this maybe. So uh, if there are contradictory placements, if most of the planets are placed in 12th to its lordship, then also this can happen. Okay. And if most of the planets are in the Dustana houses, not so much in the 6th, but primarily in the 8th or 12th, then this can happen and, and especially if Lagna Lord Sun Moon they are having connections with the 8th house then 8th house as I have always said it's the graveyard okay uh, yeah it's the Smashan where we feel as if it's all over <laughs> so <clears throat> so now now imagine uh, the person has 3-4 planets well placed well placed means you know they are in the in exhortation sign or friendly sign or they are in the fifth or the ninth but the lagna lord sun moon they are placed in the eighth or twelfth or you know they are not well placed then this means the person will still be depressed but because externally the other planets are not indicating terrible things this person will still be able to continue doing things normally but uh, if along with the lagna lord sun moon uh, the other planets three four planets are also badly placed or indicating depression then as i said you know six or seven planets then irrespective of the dasha this person is always depressed now suppose uh, there are two or three planets which can indicate depression and this person uh, is in the mahadasha of one of such planets then does it mean that this person's entire Mahadasha will be gone in depression? Well, not necessarily. Uh, but, so suppose, for example, if a person has a depression indicated, you know, in Saturn and uh, Venus, for example, so this person gets Saturn Mahadasha. So does it mean entire 19 years he will be depressed? No. So during Saturn Mahadasha, Venus Antardasha or Venus Ant Mahadasha, Saturn Antardasha, then this person will run into serious depression and you will be able to see that this person is not able to behave in a normal way, which is typical of somebody who is in depression. So just because a planet indicates depression and his Mahadasha is here, do not just declare that, okay, 19 years or 20 years of Venus Mahadasha will be depressed. But here is the challenge. If there are... If two, three planets indicate depression, then it's very much Dasha specific. And if five, six, seven planets indicate depression, it doesn't matter which Dasha comes. Now the challenge is if three, four or five planets are indicating depression, then what is it? Is it depression always or is it specific to the Dasha? Then you have to see what is the gravity okay, of the depression. If a planet is in the eighth house, suppose, and also in debility and also afflicted, and if that planet is a Lagna Lord or Sun or Moon, then wow, that's like, it's like a, a very severe case. Okay, so then even if the person has uh, four or five planets which indicate depression, then this can still be a lifelong thing. Okay. Now going to the last scenario, if, you know, there are like six, seven planets which indicate depression, six planets, but 
he gets dasha of three planets back to back which does not indicate depression then what happens well then also the person will be depressed inherently but because the dashas are not indicating depression then the person will somehow be able to do the normal day to day activities of life in a better way but the person will be in depression but this depression will not stop him from uh, doing the normal activities and if the person is depressed and uh, if the dasha of rahu ketu comes and a antar dasha or mahadasha of a planet which is also in depression and if rahu ketu also indicates depression unfortunately the person may commit suicide okay so these are very dangerous placements to have sometimes but nonetheless we have to study using astrology and we can try to find out where if this person will be depressed and if yes we if we are a well wisher we can take precautions and also uh, in your date of birth if you have the number 2 multiple times because 2 is the number of the moon and moon shows emotions you know like you are born on 22nd february uh, like you know for example 22nd february 2022 or you know like uh, yeah i mean Fe february uh, like you know 12th february 2022 or anything it's like 2nd february 1992 you know so the number 2 is there uh, two or three or four times then this can show severe depression in the horoscope okay and adding to that if all the other factors including astrology are supporting then wow that's a very difficult case and lastly what is the remedy for depression well the remedy is in two two folds so one is acceptance you know because certain things will will make you depressive sometimes in life so we have to accept that because that is coming as a dint of our own karma okay so we have to accept certain things in life but just accepting uh, will not solve the problem you have to understand that yes i might have done something in my life because of which i am getting this karma but now if i do good activities then in the future i will have a good life okay uh, that's the second part thing and the third thing is you have to try to stay in company of people who are very positive you have to do it sometime somehow i'm i, I know it's easier said than done when you are in depression everybody uh, has gone through those phases right when we are in depression but the only way you can s uh, survive depression is not by being depressed is by uh, somehow trying your best of the best of the best to uh, do something uh, which can somehow connect you to somebody who is very positive so for example if you like to read books then you can read about you know big authors or entrepreneurs or spiritually elevated people no or if you like to watch videos then watch videos if you like to do some hobby then do it you know you like to sing then sing you like to cook then cook you like to dance you dance you like to uh, do spiritual practices then do it but at the end of the day always remember god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so you need to join a spiritual community and that's how most of the people unfortunately start their spiritual life where when they feel life is too tough life is very difficult you know they search for meaning beyond life and death and all this you know so that's very unfortunate but that's how it is 80 to 90% of the people who come to spirituality come because of problems right problems in their material life of course <laughs> so uh, it doesn't matter how we have come to our spiritual practices but it the only thing matters is that we keep doing it consistently okay so i am interested to know uh, what are some of the placements that you have seen uh, which in your opinion has contributed to somebody's depression and what was his, as his or her ascendant sun moon dashas and which dasha this person got depressed <clears throat> or you can also share your own story if you feel if you feel that you were depressed uh, at a certain point of time and you can also share what are the things that you did to come out of it okay and uh, so make this a uh, actively engaging community rather than just you know one way street where i speak something and you hear and then 
you come again the next day okay so that will be all from my side ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for your patience if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below you will find my website for consultations also down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him as krishna says in the bhagavad gita may i know please which verse does he say so thank you